In this video, I'm going to share some keyboard shortcuts that will help speed up your work process in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Okay, so Photoshop has got a lot of keyboard shortcuts and in this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the ones that are not talked about the most and some of them that will help speed up your work process. Now, I'm not going to really focus on the very basic ones like the tools because for any one of the tools that you put your cursor on, you're going to see the shortcuts over there. For instance, the move tool has a shortcut and if you scroll through all of them, you see almost all of them has their shortcuts. So I'm not really going to focus on these ones. And for things like when you go to the file over here, you'd realize that almost all of these ones also have their shortcuts. So I'm not really going to focus on some of these things, but instead I'm going to focus on what is not actually presented over here. So the first one that we're going to talk about is the square brackets. Now for any tool that you choose that has something to do with the circle. So for instance, if you choose the brush tool over here, you realize that it comes with this sort of circle. So if you want to increase or decrease it, you can right click and then choose your size over here. But if you want to use the shortcut using the square brackets, you can easily open up your brush or you can decrease it using the left square bracket. So the right one opens it up and then the left one closes it up so something like that and it's not only the brush tool almost any tool that comes with this circle so if you go for the eraser tool for instance so i'm currently using the eraser tool and you can use the square brackets to open it up and then close it up easily like that next up if you have photoshop project open or different projects open you can easily skip through all of this or go through all of them using the shortcut control plus tab so if you hit on control plus tab it automatically cycles through the projects that you've opened up so something like that and this works way faster if you have so many projects open up the next one that we are going to talk about is the blend mode so you realize that for instance this one over here if i want to change the blend mode i can easily come here and then be flipping through like that but then you can easily go through it when you hold shift and then alt and then you use any of the alphabet so for instance shift alt and then n is going to change this one to normal shift alt and k is going to change it to darken shift alt and f is going to change it to soft light shift alt and s is going to change it to screen so when you hold shift alt and then any of the alphabets i for instance is going to change it to dissolve any of the alphabets it is going to quickly scroll through the blend mode for you now if you have many layers like this and then you want to quickly go to the very top one you can use the shortcut alt and then the full stop or the dot so alt and dot is going to select the first layer the layer on top of all your layers for you and then if you want to get to the very last layer the one right over here you can as well use alt plus the comma so alt plus comma is going to select the last layer for you additionally if you want to select the layer just right after a particular layer you can use the shortcut alt plus the square bracket so alt plus the left square bracket select the layer right underneath of it and then alt plus the square bracket the right one selects the layer right on top of it like that also if you want to move a layer on top of another one you remember that alt plus the square bracket actually select it doesn't move but if you want to move it for instance if you want to move this layer on top of this one you can hold alt and then the square bracket so alt plus the left one moves it down alt plus the right one moves it up like that and then if you want to move it right on top of all the other layers you can hold ctrl shift and then the right square bracket and if you want to move it down ctrl plus shift plus the left square bracket will do that also for you now if you want to view only a particular layer for instance this layer right over here if i want to see that only I want to exclude everything and then see that only 
holding out and then left clicking on the eye will give you that opportunity so you can see only this layer and all the other ones will be hidden now if you want to bring the rest of them back you can hold alt back and then left click on the eye again and all of them will be back after you're done with a design like this you can press ctrl shift and then alt plus e and then it is going to merge the entire layer whilst you are still having your layers over this so this is a fully merged layer it is made together and i still have my layers over here so i can group all of these layers ctrl plus g for that and then i can hide all of them and then you realize that i still have my layers or the entire design merged together so right now if i apply anything like the hue and saturation to this it is going to affect all the layers that that means it has been merged together like a jpeg something like that now if you have guidelines set on your designs you can easily press ctrl h to hide all of them so that you can see exactly the design in full and then you can still press ctrl plus h to bring them back so ctrl h hides the guidelines and ctrl h also brings them back yeah so those are some of the keyboard shortcuts that i think will help speed up your work in photoshop let me know in the comment section which of them you knew already and which of them you think that we can add to the next series i hope this video was helpful if it was a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye